I call Sua Uli Lucio. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. It's, uh, it's alarming, sir, when, um, when I hear um, two members in a row from the government come down to this house and, and, and read out lines, political lines, obviously, in opposition to this bill, lines which I don't think that they believe in, lines that I think if they did believe in, they've seriously not considered what it means for their reputation. And because it's alarming also that, that, the, that the Honourable David Parker has revealed to this House that one of those members is a member of that particular committee who opposed the amendments of the committee that would improve this bill and then comes down to this House and says that she doesn't understand what's going on. That is alarming, sir. And, and, and I'm... Sh anyway, I want to acknowledge... I want to acknowledge first the Honourable David Parker. I think for the professional and caring way that you've ushered this bill, um, because I think it's because of your, the manner that you've um, ushered this bill through that has enabled the passage of this bill in its first and second reading. And I hope that those political parties that have supported this bill thus far will continue to support it in its third reading. And I want to thank you, sir, because if this bill is passed tonight and it gets implemented immediately, it will have an immediate impact, a good impact, on those people who are self-employed at this point in time who are paid less than the minimum wage. And so, they, and, and I know many in my community who would be applauding this parliament if this bill is passed. You see, sir, once upon a time, it, it, we used to consider in our community that somebody who was self-employed, that's where the money's going to be. And we used to encourage so many of our young people to get into self-employment opportunities. And it, we used to brag about um, the ability of having a contract to build houses, the ability of having a contract to paint for, for Housing New Zealand, the ability to be able to have a contract from the telephone companies. And because we believe that if you work hard enough and you and, and you were honest about your day's work, that you would receive a fair wage. Sir, we're talking about here making sure that we protect those people now who are self-employed so that they are at least paid the minimum wage. We are a signatory to the ILO Convention 131 about the minimum wage. And if members of that government would read that convention, they would note what that minimum wage is about. It is about ensuring that the worker and their family are able to support themselves. It is about ensuring that a worker and their family are able to afford the cost of living of that particular country. At the moment, if I look at what's been happening, sir, we now, as a country, are looking at using self-employed opportunities of contracting work out to, for employers, not all, I would say, but some employers are using it to get away from their responsibility to the workforce. They are using to undercut their cost. And, and, and that's not just me saying, sir. If um, looking at the report that was prepared by the committee, uh, there was a number of submitters that made submissions, including characters of the social services of the Catholic Church, uh, the trade union movement, uh, Public Services Association, First Union, Citizens at Vice Bureau, people who are close to the ground to where it's happening, and they note in this report that there is a trend towards firm, firms offering work to contractors rather than employees in order to reduce costs and avoid duties and obligations. That was the submission made by this group of people to this committee. Uh, the First Union said that They've seen predominantly perform, work that predominantly performed by employees are now being contracted out um, and, and weighted significantly in favour of the principal's interest. So, with, if, if, I don't know whether the, the other side of the House recognised the error or the error of their ways, because instead of us being proud of a New Zealander where our workers are earning good money and we're spending that money 
And, and if you know anything about economics that most of us do in 101 economics, that money is circulating and helps generate more wealth. But this lot here, sir, seems content on driving down salary. I want to, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman thank you very much.